Well, finally, you are back. I've been waiting for you for what seems like forever. It's so nice to see you. You look amazing as always. You don't know how lonely I've been without you. What's that? You don't know who I am? Well, that's rude. Why, don't you remember three months ago, I had you gather up 15 eggs so I could bake a cake and enter into the competition for the Queen's Ball? I gave you two silver pieces for your trouble. You're saying you don't remember? Well, okay, I guess that's okay. I know that a famous adventurer like you probably needs a lot of villagers like me. But, hey, I was wondering, would you like to go on a date with me? Oh, you are busy? You only came back to town to check up on how the update is going. What's an update? You adventurers truly are weird. You all have some weird lingo that I've never heard before. Virtual reality, headset, video game, alpha testing, and something about there being a lot of bugs here. I don't know why you would think that there are a lot of bugs in this town. We really do try our best to keep this town tidy. Anyways, your lingo is very strange. I've only met a few of you. I'm still learning your ways. You have to get going. Wait! Don't go. Ugh, I don't know how to say this, but I am. I was talking to this adventurer who was in town the other day and was dressed up as a wizard, and I told him my predicament. You know, about how much I like you and want to spend time with you. And well, um, he put a curse on you for me. Don't look so upset. It's really not that bad of a curse. It's just that you can't go more than 100 yards away from me without being in immense pain. Surprise! Listen, stay calm, it truly is not that bad. We are going to be able to spend a lot of time getting to know each other now, just like I've always wanted since the first moment you walked into the bakery. Where did the wizard go? I don't actually know. He seemed to be pretty happy though putting the curse on you. He kept mumbling on and on about how you didn't put his content into the game. Yeah, I don't know what he was talking about. After he put the curse on you, he told me to tell you that this was his revenge. Did you do something to this wizard? He seemed nice enough. Why does it look like you are messing with a notebook that I can't see? Okay, now you are just acting weird. Is this part of the curse that I don't know about? Why are you saying out loud log off, computer log off? But wait a second, I've heard the phrase log off before. Oh yeah, that's right, the wizard mentioned that. Yeah, he said something about not being able to log off for one year in game time. He also mentioned something about time dilation. I don't really know what he was talking about, but I think that means I get to spend the next year with you. That's all I care about. We are going to have so much fun. We will go adventuring and sightseeing, and of course we will get to know each other intimately. Do you want to start holding hands now or wait a little bit longer? Oh, don't be depressed there there. This is going to be an amazing year. Oh yeah, there was another part of the curse that I haven't told you about yet. Oh, it's nothing major. It's just that if you don't follow my commands, you will feel immense pain, just as you would if you go over 100 yards away from me. Isn't that fun? Oh, you don't look happy. Cheer up. I command you to cheer up. Oh, jeez, now you are writhing in pain on the floor. I command you to get up and smile as if you are having a good time. There you go, that's better. Even though I see some tears in your eyes, you are a quick learner. Here, let me wipe those away. See, isn't this going to be a great year? Okay, I command you to stop smiling. It's starting to freak me out a little. Anyways, let me tell you a little bit about myself. As you know, I work at my dad's bakery right around the corner. I can't wait for you to meet him, by the way. I think you two will get along great. It's just me and him since my mom passed away when I was young. 
I grew up in this town and love it so very much, but now that I'm older and mature for my age, I want to explore the world with you. There is so much to discover out there. I won't be afraid of the wilderness and all of the world's dangers knowing that you will be there to protect me. Why is your sword out? Are you going to take a swing at me? Ha, huh, that's funny. Try it. I forgot about the last part of the curse, that it's physically impossible for you to harm me, and you have to do your best to protect me, otherwise you will be in excruciating pain for a very, very, very long time. At least, that's what the adventuring wizard said. He really did a good job of crafting this curse. He is probably the most powerful wizard in all of the world. I don't know what you did to him, but maybe you deserve this curse. It doesn't seem very smart to get on someone that powerful's bad side. Well, actually, now thinking about it. It's only a curse for you, but it's actually a blessing for me. Ha ha! Thank you for putting your sword away. Now I command you to hold my hand. Thank you for cooperating. God, you are so cute. <laughs> Let me try some other commands. I command you to kiss me on the cheek. He that tickled. Good job. I command you to dance for me. Ha ha, you aren't much of a dancer. Okay, I command you to stop dancing. This is so cool. Do you want to grab a bite to eat? You seem to have lost your appetite. Oh, that's too bad. I'm hungry. Let's go to this one restaurant nearby that I just adore, and we can continue talking about our plans for the next year.